I wasn't even prepared to make this video today, let's be honest with you. I just like said, hey, let's, let's do it right now, and I wasn't even ready, so. Hey everyone, it's me, Brianna, and I thought I'd make um, a cool little video here, collection of all the Elton John um, music that I have. I'll do another collection of all like the other memorabilia that I have of Elton in another video, so I'll make sure I put the link to that in the description so you guys can check that out. Yeah, I'm gonna start with my music collection, so all the music that I own of Elton. But I'm gonna have a little disclaimer here that um, majority of my music here, at least like 75% of it, has been um, given to me by other fans, especially the vinyl. Thank all the fans that have given me all this music. It means so much to me because it's like you guys provided me love. I cherish all of this so much. Thank you to everyone that uh, helped out and made me a bigger fan. So let's get started. By the way, I'm not gonna give like a review of these albums. I'm just kind of giving like quick commentary on some of them. So first, I have Empty Sky. This is actually from 1975. It was only released in England in 1969, and it had a different cover and everything. Um, but then it was finally released um, elsewhere in like America in 1975. Um, so uh, a lot of people thought that uh, the Elton John album was his first, but it's actually Empty Sky was his first. I have two of um, the Elton John albums. One person was literally going to throw it out and I was like, I'll take it. Tumbleweed Connection, a must have. Absolutely love it. I just love like his face in there. 171170, just great. Friends, of course, awesome soundtrack album. Um, Mad Men Across Water, probably one of my absolute favorites of the 70s for Elton. Funky Chateau. <laughs> so a lot of people like come up his beard and say that it's like ugly and some love it. I'm like neutral about it. Um, this is Don't Shoot Me, I'm the only piano player. And this got like a book in it. I mean, like look, he's so cute. Um, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road and uh, everyone knows what I think about this. So we'll just let that pass. Um, Caribou, I think this is the first record that I actually bought of Elton's. So this one is one of my total favorites of the 70s. I think it's like my second favorite. Captain Fantastic, I just got this about a month ago and I was happy because it came with like a little booklet. It didn't come with the poster, but it's all right because I actually had the poster already as you can see on my wall. Rock of the Westies, my favorite 70s Elton record. I got this um at the same time I got Caribou. Um, a Greatest Hits here. Another Greatest Hits, this is like a volume two. Um, this is like a Greatest Hits volume one and two, so it's like a bigger than the other one. As you can see, that one doesn't have one and two on it. Blue Moves here, um, amazing, you know, I just, look at that. Oh, A Single Man, I remember getting this one earlier this year. Oh, I just love it. Look at that. He needs to pose with cars more. Um, Victim of Love, a lot of people are like, oh my god, you actually have it? I'm like, yeah, I do. I have a love-hate relationship with that record, let's put it that way. Um, 21 at 33, um, also great. The Fox, I remember getting this one. It was only like a dollar, and I'm a cheapskate, so I got it, because I didn't have it, right? I came home and figured out it was a dollar because like the actual vinyl was warped. I don't recommend this, but I like bent it, and I like stashed it between books, and I like totally, like I don't know, fixed it somehow, because now it's working pretty well. Jump up. This, though, I just love, I just... <laughs> I don't know why I love that. Too low for zero. Now, I think this actually had like a picture inside of it. I don't even know what happened to it. I have two of um, Breaking Hearts because actually if you see one of them is like a different tone or color than the other. Then I have Ice on Fire. This one, oh, I love This Town. I mean, that's like a totally like underrated song. Leather Jackets, I actually adore this album. I even think that this is like great in a weird way. Live with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Here's his one of his greatest hits that he had like going out in the 80s. It's for um, 1979 to 1987. I'm a huge fan of his 80s stuff, like more than the 70s and anything else. And then we have uh, Red Strikes Back. I like this one too. <laughs> Everyone remembers that. My absolute favorite Elton John record, Sleeping With The Past. Um, I have a whole review on this, so I'm not even gonna go in depth right now. Um, and then, um, kind of a big jump because it's hard to find his vinyl after the 80s. So I don't actually have any vinyl of, of Elton's. The one to uh, 
the diving board. But I did get this because it's new and I, it's, you know, in stores now. So I have a um, wonderful, crazy night, um, which is actually a fantastic. So, yeah, I'm missing all those. They're, like I said, they're kind of hard to get, but I'm working on it. Next, we have some of my 45s. These were all, pretty much all given to me by other people. Thank you to everyone that uh, gave these to me. Runaway tra Train. And the other side is True Love um, with Eric Clapton and Kiki D. Then we have another Runaway Train. That's hard to say for some reason. Um, and the other side is Understanding Women. So uh, the one. I love this one. In Suit of Wolves. I'm crazy for that song. Um, then we have I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That. And the other side is Rope Around a Fool. Um, Wrap Her Up. Oh, I remember getting some of these um, when I was in a different state visiting and I went to a bunch of different record stores and the other side is um the man who never died amazing instrumental um that's what friends are for oh my god this one is classic Nikita and the other side is restless which is actually a live version of restless I don't know if I like it as much as the studio but it had a lot of energy who wears these shoes um I don't understand why but both sides of this are who wears these shoes. Like there's no B side, it's the same one. And I thought that was kind of like a waste of making it. And Empty Garden and the other side is Take Me Down to the Ocean. I'm actually a bigger fan of Take Me Down to the Ocean. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't like Empty Garden because it's amazing. Little Genie, the other side is Conquer the Sun. This one, oh my God, you guys are gonna kill me. Um, I got this recently, like a month ago with Captain Fantastic um, and I got it not because of the songs. Now, I like the songs, but I'm not crazy over them. I got it because his face. So this side is Ego, and the other side, are you guys ready? And this side is Flintstone Boy. Look at him. He's adorable. I saw that at the store, and I couldn't leave it alone. I, I was just holding, it was like two bucks, and I was like, two bucks for this cutie? Oh, yes. I, mm, he's so cute. I've slept with this picture. I, I'm crazy. <laughs> Two of these that are um, Don't Go Breaking My Heart and uh, Snow Queen with Kiki D. I like Snow Queen. That's amazing. Everyone needs to check that out. Island Girl. Oh my god, I love this one. And uh, the other side was Sugar on the Floor. Also a good one. And then Philadelphia Freedom. And the other side was um, I Saw Her Standing There. This is the first ever piece of Elton music that I got. A long time ago before I was even a fan I got this from someone this side is tiny dancer and the other side is razor face I got into Elton through tiny dancer um the song and then I realized I think I have the 45 of this so I went searching through my records and I found it on the absolute bottom of all my records and I thought what a coincidence I'm best for last I mean I like literally looked at it and I, was, I mean it was just amazing I'm sorry that's just that warmed my heart up. Then I have your song and Take Me to the Pilot. This is an excellent condition. I am talking like flawless for a very old one. It is just flawless. Like no one's ever played it. I've played it a couple times. I'm scared to play because I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it. So that's my 45s. Um, now I'm gonna show you my cassettes. <laughs> I don't have a lot of cassettes, so this will go back quick. And these were all given to me by um, a particular album fan, so, you know, thank you to her. And I play them. A lot of people don't play cassettes. You know, now we have CDs, and so it's a lot easier to, like, use them because cassettes, to, like, rewind them. But you know what? I like it. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with cassettes. I have the Fox here. Kind of cool how they, like, changed the format on cassettes. Like, they took away the words that were originally here and put them down here. Only I'd probably notice that. And leather jackets, again, I love this one. So Then we have Red Strikes Back, love this one. I can't talk about this one because I have such an affection for both songs that I can't even explain it. Uh, Healing Hands and the other side is um, Dancing in End Zone. Same, I'm obsessed with them. That's because I love Elton in this era so much. So like around 1989, 1990s. I'm gonna be extremely passionate about any of his music in that era. Both of these here, Run, a run Away Train that I can never say. The Two Rooms with all the other artists that covered a lot of Elton's songs. Then we have Can You Feel the Love um, Tonight? So uh, if you love The Lion King, this is for you. Um, then we have Bless and the other side is Latitude. I love both songs so bad. I have played this 
billions of times. So those are all my cassettes. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys my CD. Most of these CDs I've gotten myself, so, cause I'm a CD girl, that's my favorite platform is CDs. That's just because, I guess, I don't know, I grew up with CDs. So if we have Madman Across the Water, Honky Chateau, a two disc version of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. But it's kind of weird like how they have this set up because on the back it gives you 1 through 18 but it's very hard for you to know which one's which. It only says right here in the corner disc 1 and disc 2 but when you look at it it's very weird how they formatted it. I think this came out in like the 80s. It's very old. I'm, it's just weird. Like Captain Fantastic, uh, Blue Moves. This one's, see this one is newer because it actually, you open it and it has both CDs. So um, this one I like better because it's easier to like read and use. Then we have um, 21 at 33. This is ancient. This particular CD is from like 1991, which is pretty ancient in CD standards. I know they had them way earlier, but we have the greatest hits again. This I bought myself. Red Strikes Back. This is also ancient as you can tell. I mean, it's like just so old it's like yellowing and when I open it it falls off because this broke off it's so old I mean you can even whoop you can even see it's got like but it, it works inside here it actually tells you what a compact disc is like for people that didn't know it literally tells you how to take care of the CD you know when people were switching from like vinyls to CD it was new you gotta explain it Sleeping with the Past, this is the first ever record that I got a belt and besides that 145 I showed you. When I became a fan, this is my first. I got it for my birthday. Oh my god, I just, I love it. I just, I can't even speak. Then we have um, Rock, Rhythm, and Blues. Some of you guys might not know this. It's just like a um, an album with a bunch of other artists on it, but Elton does one song on it. Um from Fats Domino, um, I'm Ready. It was so good that I got the actual CD, which is one of his songs on it, but there's a lot of other artists that are on it um, that I would totally check out. The one, man, I remember where I got all of these, it's crazy. This is duets, also very ancient. I'm pretty sure this is exactly from 1993. Then I got a Greatest Hits here, so um, this came out in 1995, made in England. I like it, I usually try to keep like the stickers on there. The Big Picture. I'm a big fan of this album, so a lot of people are like, oh my god, you know, the production. Let's not get into it that much, but whatever to you, I like it. This train don't stop there anymore, and it's got two other songs on there, I think. Yeah, it, it includes the live tracks of American Triangle and Philadelphia Freedom. Not even sure what this is. It's like even smaller than like an actual CD. You can visibly see it's like thinner. I don't know what this is. Maybe someone can help me out. Like. What is this? I just got it from like a fan, but I don't even know what it is. Songs from the West Coast, which this is like kind of a sample, I think of it. I'm a huge fan of this album. It's my favorite album of Elton's in the 21st century. The Captain and the Kid. Um, I don't have Peachtree Road because I'm lame. No, I just, I don't have it yet. I'm working on it. And then I got Wonderful Crazy Night. So the only albums that I'm missing on any platform is Peachtree Road the Union, and The Diving Board. That's it. I mean, I'm missing like some live albums, but studio album-wise, I'm just missing those three. For being quite a young fan and for a short amount of time, I'm kind of proud of that. Now I'm gonna show you guys my collection of other Elton John things that I have, like books and posters and pictures and magazines. I'm gonna make another video for that, but thank you for watching this one and be sure to check that other one out.